All right. We are here with Avacyn, Angel of Hope. I don't believe I've ever put this in the command zone. Um, it just, it's an 8 mana 8 8 flying vigilance, and everything, including itself, that you control is indestructible. It's pretty cool, right? Um, still gets countered, still gets hit by exile effects, still gets pacified, reprobations, all that jazz. But it's kind of funny. I haven't played it before. And namely, I just want to play some mono white control nonsense. Um, it's one of my favorite archetypes, and I have an itch. And this is maybe going to scratch it a bit more. Last time I did this, it was Redain in the command zone. Seems to be one of the other more common mono white slow deck uh, commanders. Uh, ac well, actually, really the only one. <laughs> but um, I'm going to try Avacyn. I just think it's funny. You could probably put Zatalpa in here too, but sometimes protecting your own stuff from some of your own board wipes uh, is kind of cool. But there's not too many things I'm protecting anyways. We have a ton of artifacts, right? All the ramp. A bunch of artifact-based card draw, which uh, probably fits what we're trying to do. Sarah's ultimate could be funny if I get that um, worship thing going with uh, Avacyn, and then they can't ever deal with Avacyn, so I just automatically win. It's kind of cheesy, probably will never happen. Overwhelming Splendor, I wish was a legendary creature, and I could put this in the command zone, but I can't. But I have it in here anyways with the package. The tutor for it and whatnot. The, um, or is it this thing is in here? Uh, I don't see this card too much, but now that fetch lands are in quite literally every single deck, including monocolored decks, because fetch lands can find the, um, the gate that seeks a card. So your fetch land essentially, like, seeks a card slowly but surely. Uh, fetch lands are literally everywhere. I think every single deck at this point has, except maybe true colorless commanders have a way to search a library pretty consistently. So hmm, maybe this does something. Maybe it doesn't. It's like a rest in peace. Maybe it does something. Maybe it doesn't, you know, just put it in there. Um, I think that's about it. Every single sweeper worth running. Um, nope, that's it. Yep, that's it. Let's go. I had the strongest thing in the entire game to do as well. So we have our work cut out for us. Uh, four one. Uh, get rid of you. That. Casual two for one myself just to kill a land of war elves. Always nice. Surely it was very crucial for my opponent to have that. All right. Just kind of hoping that would draw or a search. Uh, yep. Got nothing else to do. Well, Arena can technically kill them. It just has to uh, do a lot of damage. But uh, it's probably not going to kill them. They did not have a land off of a Phyrexian draw. That's wild. Wow. Okay. That's insane. No Phyrexian draw. No land. Alright, I don't want to make a 4-4. I would rather get this game to a scam position than rely on a 4-4 that will probably just die as soon as my opponent... I mean, they've drawn no lands, so it's like probably, you know, make or break with that anyways. Alright, well, that doesn't do anything at least. And we just pass. I see no reason to kill Tireless Tracker doesn't do anything. I'd rather stop them from gaining life and maybe survive 12 turns. It's not super likely, but, you know, it's seen weirder. This discounts per creature, right? Yeah. So they know about it, which makes it... Oh, come on! Come on! Oh. Realm Cloak Giant doesn't do it, does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, why does it have to be indestructible? You've got to be kidding me. Uh, yep, there's nothing I can do. I need to draw a land for Sunfall. Sunfall is an exile sweeper. That is pretty useful. I have to draw a land, though. Doubling Season doesn't actually do anything. They just don't have the time to crack all of these clues. They found a way to get around some of my sweeper with sacking things for food... To oh, wait, this makes food tokens, doesn't it? It does. Alright, so my opponent's not going to die to damage anymore. Come on. Come on! I just need a land! 
My whole hand is five drops. Come on. Just need to land. I'm losing my mind. I just want to land. That makes a bunch of one. No, that makes squirrels ten years from now. Sure. Bitter blossom. Okay, sure. Jeez. Unbelievable. Well, I think it's too late to draw land now if I don't draw one. Um, what do I exile? I guess I just sunfall the board. This doesn't really solve my issues at all, but it's better than not doing it, I guess. I don't know. Still losing to the uh, infinite food tokens that I can't deal with. They make two things a turn, right? Yeah. They're losing two life a turn, but they can gain a lot of life with food. So they won't die to life loss. It's just not going to happen. I can't even blow this up. I don't have the, the card for it. I can keep the board clear, but I'm not actually like gaining an advantage as I proceed to do that as this game goes. Whenever a creature you control dies, gain a life draw card. All right. Well, they won't deck out, that's for sure. Can I do anything on 6 mana? I'd have to somehow play Advison and also get it to, like, matter. Which so far, I just don't think it's going to happen. I also basically have to sweep the board almost every turn, basically. But Avacyn, I don't know. How many things do they have that exile? There's not that much. It is possible to survive. There is not that much. But it's very, very difficult. This is not a reliably, like... It's not looking like I'm winning this. Can they do this at instant speed? Oh, they can. They can make squirrels whenever they want. That's also just really bad. Yeah, that's a problem. If they didn't make instant speed squirrels, I guess I could... I mean, I can conquer's death it, but then I don't have mana to do anything else. Yeah, the squirrels are going to kill me. I can't stop the squirrels. No stoppy squirrely. Let's see, if I draw another land, five, if I draw a land, I can Doomscar and exile the Squirrel tokens. I mean, I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. This is just not, this is not going to pan out too well for me in any way. Unless my opponent accidentally, like, kills themselves. They can accidentally activate Castle Lockbane. Which would be hilarious. If I had... Imagine I had uh, Emrakul and I like stole their turn and made them just draw and lose seven. That would be funny. Okay, I don't think I can win this even with the best case scenario. I don't think I can at least. What does this do? Emblem, whenever elf spell haste... Okay, none of that matters. Doesn't matter. Alright, none of that. None of that matters. Just makes elves. Which, currently, I don't think they have any elves, right? Just one? Does it do... Oh, no, that's it. Black Market Connections is probably something I would not have risked putting in play. It doesn't... It probably, in the long run, again, doesn't matter too much, but I don't think I would have played that. It's a little sketchy to do that. So if they do have elves, I could die to hasting threats now. I need to draw a land, right? Okay, I did draw a land. Because, again, making squirrels on their own turn makes me lose the game. So let's deal with the squirrely squirrels. And then Doomscar. And then I, again, don't really know what I do next. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I do next. 
Is there anything that kills me? Oh, the layer of the Hydra kills me, dude. The layer of the Hydra kills me. I think I had to just wing it in cast Avacyn. I think my only out was to just cast Avacyn and I didn't do that. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> No, it's, I mean, alright, there's a good chance I'm dead anyways, let's, let's see if we would have died anyways. Maybe, maybe my opponent doesn't see it, you know, maybe they're not, you know, they, they don't see they have that card, and albeit extremely unlikely, but, you know. I've seen weirder. I don't know why they're doing all this right now, they could just wait, right? Eh, it doesn't matter. So they draw a lot of cards, but they're not going to deck out, obviously. Pretty close to decking out, but um, maybe with all the cards, they'll accidentally not fire up Layer of the Hydra. <laughs> what am I? What have I done? There, there has to be some kind of exile effect, right? Or Shieldra's Edict even does it. I don't have this uh, token up and running. All right, opponent. Do you see it? Or do we just get overwhelmed by all the cards in our hand and we do not see it? Is this Changeling, does it have haste? It is an elf, but does it count as like a... It does not. They didn't cast him. Alright, so they don't just get the damage off of that. That would have killed me too. Tyvar making elf tokens, but it doesn't. Okay, good sign. Good sign. Cast a couple more cards and the layer doesn't kill us. <laughs> Okay, uh, one, two, three. We're still dead to lair. Still dead to lair. just cast things okay sure sure oh that is haste though that is haste it's damaged because it has haste which is a bit of a problem they can find an elf that kills me <laughs> come on just cast spells you don't have a lair okay this girl oh wait does this kill me does this kill me Create two, get an emblem with three and three and trample. It currently doesn't kill me. It puts me to two. Puts me to two. <gasps> We're going to two? We're going to two? Come on. Just two? Or maybe you don't even swing at all? You just like leave up the land or else for whatever reason? Two is the same as six at this point, right? How do I get rid of the one ring so it doesn't kill me? Oh no. I didn't even realize that. It kills me, doesn't it? Shoot! No, this is a tragedy. Uh, yeah, that four damage did shave away a lot of my options, I think. Did shave some options. But again, it's so likely they answer Avacyn. <laughs> like, it's, it's so likely Avacyn just gets answered. But it doesn't matter. I, the one ring ticks twice. I don't actually get a turn cycle because my entire turn is committed to casting Avacyn. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I can just blow up the board and they lose all their stuff and they're forced to draw. Right? Wait a minute. You must draw. <gasps> and they don't have any mana? They don't have any mana to, like, heroic intervention. No way did I win this at one. This also makes it so they can't cast anything. Let me just make sure. Food clue. There's only one mana. They cannot spend it for anything. This just wins the game. No way. No way. No way. I won this game. I, I won this game. <laughs> yes. I won. 
No way. Wow, I won it one life. And I didn't even need Abyssin. That, again, probably wasn't going to do anything. That is awesome. That is so funny. Wow. Wow. I was just having a good time watching the Chatterfang do stuff. And I just, I just robbed them. They robbed themselves, really. <laughs> I, I don't know, did they? Oh, man. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. What a game, dude. What a game. That is funny. Yeah, they put me to one life. And you know what? I would have died if they played this right with the layer of Hydra, right? They actually had it. This is one of those examples where... It's hard to see that they had that when they have a hand of 25 cards and my opponent wants to play Chatterfang nonsense, right? Instead of just firing up a 6-6 six, six and killing me. They get distracted with a bunch of cards. Um, that is another reason why I don't like Manlands. It is so rare for it to matter. And when it does, you have to realize it matters. Because a lot of games where you cast it, uh, or you put it in your deck... A lot of games, it doesn't come up, so you just treat it as a normal land. You don't really think about it. And then when you actually have it, and it actually matters, you have to realize that. But, um, I mean, with that being said, there was a couple things probably both of us could have done to maybe change the course of this as well. So, wow, super crazy game. That was neat. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. I have the mana to cast Avacyn and uh, the um, curse. Whatever the curse is called. <laughs> Overwhelming Splendor. Choose any number. So I can kill their whole board, which is actually very, very, very good right now. I think I will. So I do for one? Right? Power greater or equal to the chosen. So I choose one, so I keep my Ornithopter. They did not um, put their commander to the command zone, so there's probably some kind of reanimate spell or a uh, exile delve thing. Okay, Grim Lava Mancer just does it. If I killed this, I wonder if it was their only way to get their commander out of the command zone. That's kind of risky, isn't it? It's actually extremely risky. But that's what my opponent chose to do. And unfortunately... Oh, I did draw the answer. I think it's worth it to try. Because, again, if Kenrith is out of this game forever, I mean, Swan Song. All right, so they were really reliant on this uh, thing, which to me is absolutely insane, but so be it. I just would never do that. Um, slowing down their commander doesn't do anything. Not interested. There are some two mana cards I could find right now. Maybe I should do this then. There are some two drops. And I did sort of draw one, sort of. I didn't say one drops. <laughs> I only said two drops. Five, six, seven. We're losing the Ornithopter to the Lava Mancer, probably. And then, so I need another way to get mana. Which I guess is kind of fine. This is a really weird decision. I really don't know if my opponent wanted to swan song. Like, that just seems so weird to me. Like, all of that. If I had a second answer, I'd, I'd just be really funny if I shut them down. This doesn't even deal... Like, this still costs a ton of mana that my opponent does not have. I really just don't agree with this. Training ground. So that discounts only Kenrith. Alright, this only costs one red. Yeah. Alright, I found the land. I think I'm going to play this first. Because indestructible is better than not indestructible. Looks like my opponent has swords to plowshares. Don't know what else it could be. Oh, this person's so unbelievably slow. Okay, Leyline Binding. That is fine, right? Do I leave it under? I cannot. I cannot leave it under that. That's not worth it. Dark Ritual. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. 
opponent, I'm begging you, please. Maybe they're just super laggy for a myriad of reasons, I don't know. Alright, well, they've had an answer to everything I've done so far. Let's see if they have yet another one. They do not. Lucky us. I can get a land with this. I'd rather not, though. I don't think that makes sense. Mist cast? Okay. Sure. I guess I can get a land now, because I can't really cast many things anyways. I don't hate a land, especially given how expensive my hand is right now. Probably makes sense. And bag of holding. Swing for two. No reason to bag of holding right now. And I don't really want to keep tapping this for draw. It's one stop shop to imminent demu uh, demise when you do that. Doom yourself. I mean, I'm just going to kill Kenrith. Well, let's put the, uh, let's put that under there doesn't feel that important just want the lands all right um i'm going to cast avison to protect the splendor i think is actually better than any other decision i can make so playing this and then they deal with splendor could just be a problem now that splendor is indestructible it's a lot harder to play the game there still is, like, farewell um, in the game, but they'd have to have it. Like, Casualties of War doesn't work. Lantern of what? Look at the top card. If it's a land, put it in the battlefield. I've never seen this card in my life. That's a really good card. I really want that. Wow, that's a really good card. Okay. I really want that card for myself. That's awesome. It's just a mana rock that, like, sometimes puts lands out of your thing. That's really cool. And I like that a lot. Okay, well, I mean, I do get the Sarah ultimate, but that doesn't mean anything, assuming Avacyn just gets spam killed, which is uh, very likely. But, you know, we're not there yet. Let's play this. Uh, do I play Bankbuster 2? I guess. I think the first liver plays uh, Ulamog and stuff. I think. 4, 5, 6, 7. If I draw a land, I can cast Avacyn. There's a lot of annoying Planeswalkers, though. There's a lot of, a lot of annoying everything. Even a Casualties of War is pretty bad right now. It's not the end of the world, but it is pretty bad. Okay, there's a tier 1 commander. Of course, we have to play against that. Um, I basically have to fumigate this. I can't I can't beat Golos just sitting there. Uh yeah. I don't have a choice. And I guess I I think it's better to draw than it is to foretell cuz uh, I didn't hit a land drop, you know, it's Probably just makes more sense. Four, five, six, seven. So one more land, I get to do stuff. That counters the first instant or sorcery, right? Yes. Okay, so I draw again. Um, foretell. And then cast this for zero. It should just get countered. Right? Yeah. Should just get countered. I don't have to worry about targeting my own thing or not. Cartographer? Oh, cool. Cartographer's survey. Neat. Okay, that's not a lot going on. Um, I think I'd prefer to just play this instead of Avacyn. I can play Avacyn later, right? There's no rush to play it. It's not like it does anything sitting in play. It's not that amazing. Uh, yep. Oh, that's that.
there's nothing my opponent has in play that I'm even scared of. It's weird that they played their creature pre that. I was about to say, yeah, why did you play it in that order? That doesn't make any sense. You just, like, blew up your own creature for no reason. I believe I get to draw off of their Savala, Selvala, not Savala. When I play Avacyn, right? Yeah, I do. Nice. Treasure map, that's neat. Um, there's no attack. Yep, there's nothing to do here. Alright, we're in the Sarah ultimate position that we were in last time. And I think I'm favored into a Farewell cast, which is kind of one of the few cards that I'm uh, concerned with, really. I guess Ulamog's annoying, too, but again, I, I don't... I don't know. I'll probably race, just snap this off, because like last time, I just don't want my opponent to get value for the game going long. Especially how they're clearly looking for something. Oh, if I could blow it up in response. Okay, my opponent has all the mana in the observable universe. Um, so I do this for five. Remember, it doesn't kill my own creatures, so I don't have to worry about it. There's nothing my opponent has in play that I care about. So I'm just going to plus Ujin. None of this matters. It's all just mana. My opponent has infinite mana. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. I could have crewed the Bank Buster, actually, and swung for more, but it's already... A two-turn clock, anyways. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But it probably would have made sense to do it. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, they got an Uro. All right. All right, all right. Got all the mana in the world. Oh, they drew a land, too? Is that what this is? Drawing lands, yep. This is an insane amount of mana. And they have all, like, the super, like, fancy... Oh, no, they don't. They don't have all the fancy ones. They're missing some. I was gonna say, they have, like, a lot of fancy stuff, though. This is, like, a... Another land. Wow. Does this save them? I think it does. I don't think they're dead. I do not believe my opponent is dead. Alright, Farewell is in their deck. I just saw it. So now... Oh, wait, nope. They just found it. They can just tutor for Farewell. Does that save them against the long run of this game? I don't think so. It would actually exile their own Uro, too, which they probably don't want to do. I could find a Counterspell here, but I don't think that's too likely. Um. So what do I do? What do I do? Is my opponent dead if I cast a Sweeper? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus five. They are. All right, so it doesn't matter. Punish is dead. Let's see if I would have found it. No, I wouldn't have. Sag. Uh, all right, so I crew the bank buster with the new token and one of these, and swing. I also had Guardian Idol for another 2 damage, but, I mean, I should have done more math. <laughs> it didn't matter, luckily. It does have Flash, too, so I can surprise my opponent with it. I don't think they'll search before I play it anyways, but... 
I think I'm just going to flash it in. There's not really anything I'd that would convince me not to do that. Oh, whoop de do. My opponent has a one minute spell. You want to guess what it is? I I would love to guess what it is. Probably swords. They didn't feel like casting it though. Yasharn doesn't matter to me. This is extremely surprising. I didn't expect the archivist to be any kind of threat for my opponent. Can't say I'm too upset with it though. Very strange. Could have just held on to it, but I again I don't really know why I would do that. Planar cleansing is six mana, right? Yeah. Um, so I want to hold on to my cards until I draw land, right? For the planar cleansing. I don't want to blow up my own treasure map if I can help it. I really need a land. Okay, I can actually seek here. Hold on, let me do that before I forget. Uh, that is a land, technically. And I'm not going to play anything else. If they have Heroic Intervention, we're kind of screwed. But they also, like, have to have it. It's starting to give me the vibe that they do. There's no nothing I can do about it, though. Just made my bed, so I have to sleep in it. Alright, looks like it does work. They're just going to draw off the bank buster. Okay, they kept the Tome of Legends around. I guess that makes sense. They're like, yeah, yeah, that probably makes sense. Why not? They're all kind of similar. Alright. I have five, six, seven mana. Opponent has mana tithe on top. Okay, um, I'll hold this for another turn. So I'll play this. I probably should swords this oracle though, because I don't want them to do more of what they just did. Seems problematic for me. I'm just going to do that. Um, there's no reason not to swing. They can't fire up anything. None of this matters. Alright, just pass. Alright, so we do get to draw off of this for the first time. I think, right? Yeah. There's no not searching. My opponent has to search. And then they don't do anything else. Interesting. Okay. Um, do you counter this card? Well, I mean, you can't, but... And then I do this... Spare supplies and just put it at the bottom. And I guess I just pass. I can wait a turn to cast the sweeper. I don't want to just deal with a 4 4 here. Both of these are pretty good. Um, I'll let them mill. I mean they're gonna they're gonna mill it anyways. I just might as well put like three damage into them. I could have guaranteed drew that card and put the stone on top, but I, I think I could do better than that. Maybe. Okay. I do redraw this land. Uh, do they have Ulamog in their deck? Probably. They didn't get Ulamog. They could still have Ulamog in their deck, though. Or just simply in hand. That would also work. Um, alright, so let's play, uh, 
I could play this for five, right? It does mean I want to swing first. I don't think they're going to block with their Muta Vault. That doesn't make sense to me. So we just do this for five, I guess. Sure. It's not even that amazing, but it is what it is. And there's no reason to crack the clues or the treasures and do stuff. Wandering Emperor is all right, but again, they're probably in the uh, mill themselves. It's part of the game still, so. I think they do have swords. I really do. Smothering Tithe is a little late. They don't really struggle with uh, paying for it for the rest of the game, especially with Nyssa. I probably have to kill Vorinclex. I probably can't let it flip. So I'll have to cast a Sweeper this turn, which means I can't cast Avacyn. Probably. We are taking a fair amount of damage from their uh, stuff as well. Alright, yep, we'll just cast this. This Tome of Legends has just drawn them so many cards, it's making my head spin. So if I cast this, is it worth it? I guess. Fine. I fully expect Swords of Plowshares, but I mean, I can simply recast it again. I don't think I want that. I'll take the protection, though. Alright, they're just not letting me draw. I can recast Avacyn, so it's not the end of the world. That card could have been the one mana white spell. So maybe they don't have it. That card could have been it. Alright, um, unless they have a removal spell, I think they're just dead now. Because I can kill their reach creature and just kill them. So they do actually need something here. They do need something. Alright, well, currently they do not have anything. Wow, this is a weird win. Very strange way to win, assuming this works. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, do it for zero. All creatures with power ten. So I just do it at zero. Reprieve doesn't even do it. It's just like heroic intervention or bust. And then they lose the green mana when I move phases. So it's like just Swords to Plowshares. Oh, that was a food token. I thought it was a treasure token. I thought it was a treasure token. I'm stupid. Okay, if that's the case, I must kill this. Because I can't... I, I just got to shut down some of this mana here. And I guess I will draw. Okay, that's not terribly useful. Actually, it's not really great at all with Avacyn in play. Both of these are poop. They can't mill. They'll just die. So, you know, three lands in a row. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ren and Seven makes a reach creature. I think. Yeah, it does. Which, uh, hopefully they think this is all they need, but it isn't, because, again, we have another sweeper. I guess I can lead with this. I don't see why not. Draw a card, see what happens. Can still respect the mana tithe. Let's draw creatures. Do I win? Nice. Actually, wait a minute, I don't win. It's still it's still one off. <laughs> I actually don't win. <laughs> okay, so I I think Redane is probably a better commander choice. 
Um, there are plenty of games where an indestructible 8-8 is enough to just win. They won't have an answer for it. But there are plenty of games where A, it wouldn't matter anyways, they could just kill you past it, and B, they can still deal with it regardless, whether it's Counterspell, Pacify, blah, 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 blah. So it isn't the most reliable, but it is funny, right? Um, I think I like Zatalpa slightly more just because it's like, a, I don't know, more thematic as a creature. But unfortunately, I think Avacyn is better in every single foreseeable, like every single way, I think Avacyn's better than Zatalpa. Um, it's basically the same exact card, except this gives the ability to everything instead of itself. You could play Zatalpa in here, that'd be kind of funny, but again, I, I don't think you should do that. <laughs> um, any deck that has a bunch of creatures and they're not like haste threats, you're kind of just stomping them, right? If you're playing against elves, you just kind of stomp them. If it wasn't for Craterhoof Behemoth and a couple other cards, not necessarily Ulamog, you can beat that one. Mono Green would be pretty easy to deal with, right? Like, you could just let Pock play lands and not care and keep killing their stuff over and over, but the problem is they attack you at a different angle and then you struggle, right? Haste threats and all that jazz. Um, Sarah Ultimate is actually pretty useful. It's not unreliable, especially when your creature is completely indestructible or hiding situationally behind, like, a uh, Guardian Idol. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going through puberty still. A Guardian Idol. I just like the mono white control style thing, um, and I feel like Avacyn is just goofy enough to give it a shot. There are plenty of times where this could have been useful. Um, flashing it in response to a fetch land is kind of neat. You have to have the mana up to want to do that, and I don't know. I think Rest in Peace is still just better. I think Rest in Peace has more universal use than this. And that's saying something because there's plenty of games where this doesn't do anything. So that's a little unfortunate. I don't know if I would put this in every single white deck, right? I just don't think, I don't even think Recipes would do that either, actually. Um, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, right? You could just run Lantern or a different Graveyard Hate card that replaces itself. Like you can cycle it so you can at least redraw with said Graveyard Hate if it is useless. And you can also get value out of it if you blow it up with one of your sweepers. Farewell was not in here. It felt like I didn't need it, and I didn't want to exile artifacts, because, like, a lot of my stuff is artifacts. And I didn't want to exile creatures, because if I have Avacyn in play and I need to sweep the board, Farewell is not really going to look too well. And I had so many sweepers, I thought maybe I could just go without it. It doesn't answer Planeswalkers, which is probably the weakest point of this deck. You can run cards like Get Lost and some other things that probably should be in here. Um, should have put them in at some point, and I didn't. But, uh, yeah, so certain stuff like that could be in here. But other than that, it's still fun to play. I like it. You're going to have some pretty rough losses, but at least the losses, for the most part, are kind of just instant. You know, you either stabilize or you don't and you die. You know, it's pretty quick. Because, um, obviously, an 8-mana 8-8 eight eight is kind of a later thing to get to in a game. It's, it's actually significantly slower than the 7-mana 4-color... Um, what is it? Atraxa. Atraxa is like in a ramp color too. It's got green. So it's just like you're expecting this to take 10 years to get to. So I don't know. It's fun. I liked it. I had a good time with it. So let me know what you thought about it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.